it's Ava and today I'm doing a what is on my iPhone video. You know, I was sitting in my room today and I looked over at my iPhone 5 and I was like, you know what iPhone 5? You are underappreciated. And it was like, Ava, I am so glad that you have finally realized this, you know, I've been, you know, sending your texts, I've been sending your tweets and you never do anything back for me. And I was like, you know what iPhone 5? You're right. I'm gonna do a video for you, honey. Don't worry. Don't worry. That was really weird, and I promise I will never do that again. But in all seriousness, today I'm gonna do a what is on my iPhone 5 video because a lot of you guys were asking me what apps I use for editing, and surprisingly, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a what's on my iPhone video, and another video on how I edit my Instagram photos. So in this video, I'm just going to tie it all together and show you guys basically everything about my iPhone. So let's just get started. So I have the iPhone 5 and I don't have the 5S or the 5C or anything special. I actually got my 5 the day that the iPhone 5C and S came out, but I figured, you know, I don't need the bells and whistles. This is perfectly fine for me. So I just got the iPhone 5. On my lock screen, you see a picture of my boyfriend because he is in Barcelona right now, which is 5,000 something miles away from me, and I miss him. So bring on the cheesiness, he is my lock screen. So when I slide to unlock, oh, go figure, another picture of me and my boyfriend. I'm sorry if I'm literally killing you guys with these sappiness. Let's just ignore the background. So on my homepage, I just have the typical apps, you know, like messaging, calendar, photos, maps, weather, all of that good stuff. But down at the bottom, I actually switched up a little bit and I took out the music player and I added in one of my favorite apps, which is Spotify. So Spotify is hands down one of my favorite apps on my phone. And I think it's one of my favorite apps on the entire app store. And basically what it is, is a music player but for $9.99 a month, you can get unlimited music versus just buying like a song for $1.25 on like the iTunes store. And you can sync all the music that you want to your phone so it doesn't like waste your data or anything. So it's really cool. I have a bunch of Spotify playlists that I really love listening to when I'm driving. So I have probably over a thousand songs on this and I literally only pay $9.99 a month for them and I can like switch them out and find new songs instantly when I'm on the go. So it's really awesome for a music lover and I'll link my Spotify down below because I know you guys like my music choice, like some of you. So yeah, I'll link some of my Spotify playlists down below. So if you guys like the music that I like, you guys can go and listen to it. So scrolling on to my next page, I have the utilities and in the utilities, I just have like normal stuff. In my utilities, I just have the typical stuff, you know, that any utilities would have. So on my second page, the first app that you see is Facebook and I just use Facebook for my high school friends and like friends that I've known forever. But I also have a Facebook page and this is really good for you guys to follow because it's super easy, it's just a click of a button and instantly you guys get extra giveaway entries from when I do have giveaways. So then I have the app Waze and Megan Rosette actually showed me this app, but basically Waze is an app that will find you other routes to get home that are faster. So say I'm driving home from LA from like YouTube or something and then the route that Apple's like maps gives me is like an hour, Waze would give me one that's like 55 minutes or like 40 minutes so it just finds alternative routes for you then I have YouTube which is obviously the YouTubes I have tumblr and I am a huge tumblr person you guys probably don't even know my tumblr but if you guys want to know it it is calliebeautyteen.tumblr.com I'll link it down here but I just love tumblr and I tumble quite often so if you guys want to follow me my link will be down below for that as well so now I have my photography apps and this is getting into kind of like my how I edit my Instagram photos so the first app that I have is Moldiv or Moldiv I don't know what how to pronounce that this is just a really cool collage app and I like to use this when I want to take two photos that are basically the same and make them look like I'm two people like in one photo so that's what I use for that then I have pic collage and pic collage is like where you can cut out little hearts and stars and like tumblr quotes and put them onto photos so I can put a picture of myself and then put like a little like galaxy star next to me and it's very like tumblr -y 
and that's how you do that and that one's free then I have afterlight which is my most used favorite editing app and if you have an iPhone I would definitely recommend getting afterlight afterlight isn't too great on the Galaxy or um, Android phones because my boyfriend tried downloading it and it just wasn't as great as the like full version for the iPhone so if you have an iPhone afterlight is amazing this is how I edit my Instagram photos you guys have so many filter options it's a dollar ninety nine but it is so 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 worth it like a dollar ninety nine can buy you like a McDonald's french fry like seriously it's super cheap so afterlight just has so many options and that is basically how I edit all of my Instagram photos all of them go through afterlight before anything like they always go through afterlight then I have pick play post which was actually free on the app store for a week it was like one of their free week app types of things but I paid for it because I was stupid and I got it the week before so pick play post is how you can put videos onto Instagram and make them with like the two black bars and you can add music to photos and it's just a really cool app to kind of like add videos into your Instagram then I have timer cam which is perfect for the ultimate selfie -er or the person that doesn't want to ask anybody to take their photo for them. I'm a boss ass bitch, 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 bitch. So what I do with timer cam is I set it up against like a wall and then I stand far back and I put it on like five or ten seconds timer and then I take a picture and I don't use it too often but when I do, it comes out really handy because you don't need anybody to like take the picture for you and you don't feel embarrassed like posing for somebody. You can just do it in the comfort of your own home. I really think that the Apple cameras should have a timer already in it, like a self timer, but since it doesn't, timer cam is great to have on your phone because you will need a self timer like every now and then. So then in my lifestyle apps, I have Winello, which is obviously a really cool app where you can like try to find stuff that you like and you want to buy that's like super cool. I have Groupon and I haven't bought a Groupon deal yet, but I always see ones that I like. But Groupon is just an awesome place to find really cool deals that you wouldn't normally find. They have really good clothing deals too, like they had one for American Apparel the other day and it was like $20 for $40 and $40 for $80. So it saves you a lot of money if you find the right deals on Groupon. Then I have Retail Me Not, which is just a coupon app and I don't use that too much. And then I have the Target app just in case I'm bored and I wanna see what Target has to offer in my location. So you guys can put in your zip code and Target will show you like all of the deals that they have for a Target near you. I have my Starbucks app, which is one of my most used apps because recently I've been trying to get that gold card, you feel? I finally got my gold card like two days ago literally so it's coming in the mail and I'm so excited because every 12 drinks you get a free one so that's just like awesome because I go to Starbucks way too much then I have Instagram you guys know what it is with Instagram it is the best app ever then I have Snapchat and I don't give out my Snapchat because I did that like a long time ago and I got so many Snapchats that my Snapchat broke for a second. But um, yeah, if you guys want me to make like a YouTube Snapchat, let me know in the comments down below so I can Snapchat you guys. But yeah, Snapchat is a great place to make friends with your derp faces like That's what I do on Snapchat. <laughs> Then I have Twitter, and if you guys aren't following me, on, following me on Twitter, what is up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? Ooh, does it, okay. Do any of you guys watch Saturday Night Live, or am I just alone on that? And I looked super weird doing that. Please, somebody out there, watch Saturday Night Live. Then I have Viber, which is just a free texting app. I have Chase, which is my banking app. I have T minus zero, which is a countdown app. And that's where I count down the days until I see Andrew, which is 71 days. I have the app Couple, and I use this because Andrew's in Barcelona, so he can't use his normal texting. So this is a really cool app to text on. You guys can also make pictures and stuff and like draw to each other. So it's really fun of an app. Then on my last page, I have Productivity, and I have the app Pages, which is a great app for you to have if you have an Apple product because you can write your essays on it on the go you can adjust your essays on the go send them to your like teachers or professors it's just a really cool app 
kind of like Microsoft Word but for your phone. And then I have American Airlines. I've been flying a lot recently. Well, I've been trying to fly a lot more because I want to kind of build up frequent flyer miles. So I have that app on there to help me out when I'm flying and you can have your boarding pass on there and it's just amazing. Then I have finance and I have Yelp, discount calculator and PayPal. And Yelp and PayPal are pretty like self-explanatory, but discount calculator, if you shop a lot, this comes so much in handy cuz I'll be at a store and like say it says like $40 for like a for like a dress, but then there's a sign that says like 25% off, take extra like 35% off. You can punch those into the discount calculator and boom, it tells you the price with tax and everything. It tells you like the exact price that it is. And it's amazing for somebody that's not all about math because I am not all about math. Like if you tell me what 10% of like 50 is, I'll be like I'm going to guess like $5 maybe. No. Wait. No. I don't even think I can figure that out. That's how like bad at math I am. I am an English person, not a math person. Math can shoot. Then I have Vine and Vine is obviously a really awesome app for just, you know, when you're bored at night and you can't fall asleep, you can like bind yourself to sleep. Then, last but not least, I have Heads Up Charades, which is, which is, which is my only game on the App Store, and this is a really awesome game for when you're waiting in lines, like on Black Friday, when I went shopping with Jill, which is Perpetual X Beauty, we just played Heads Up Charades like 20 times in the line, and it made it go by so much faster. You just like put it on your head and it like tells you like a topic and then you just do it and if you get it right do yes no so that is everything that's on my iPhone 5 and the case that I have on it right now if you're wondering is by Kate Spade and I got it from TJ Maxx for $12 and I actually saw this case at Kate Spade for $35 so pretty dang good deal if you guys enjoy what's on my iPhone videos give this video a huge thumbs up actually no give it double thumbs up also give this video a thumbs up if one of the apps on my phone is on your phone and while you're at it leave a comment down below letting me know what app you guys love to use on your phones and if I don't have it be like Ava what is up with you you need to get this app you are literally not with it you're not with it mm -mm. so I love you guys just a little announcement I'll be at IMATS this weekend so I can't wait to meet some of you guys it's gonna be off the chain follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you guys can see updates and tweets for all of that fun stuff so yeah I love you guys and I'll see you guys later there do you want to come up here yeah? Oh. No. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. Talk dirty to me. Talk dirty to me.